Should museums give back artworks taken during colonialism? Today, I'm at the British Museum, which is home to many different cultural and historical artefacts from all over the world. Recently, there's been a debate about some art belonging to the museum, the Benin Bronzes. These sculptures were crafted from brass and bronze, and they were looted by British forces when they sacked the Kingdom of Benin, today southern Nigeria, in 1897. They were then sold to around 150 galleries across the globe. But the single largest collection remains here at the British Museum. I had the privilege of seeing some of them on display today, but the majority remain in storage. Since the 1960s, the Nigerian government has requested for the bronzes to be returned. But it wasn't until very recently that anyone agreed to this request. In fact, the German government signed an agreement just over a week ago to return ownership of 1,100 looted items back to the Nigerian government and the Smithsonian Museum in Washington DC decided to return 29 Benin bronzes. The British Museum, on the other hand, is in talks to lend some of its collection to Nigeria. But due to a law dating all the way back to 1963, the British Museum can't permanently hand over the artefacts in its possession. Also, returning the bronzes will likely raise the question of returning other artefacts the museum got hold of during colonial times such as the Parthenon marbles which were taken from Greece from 1801 to 1805. Do you think it's right for museums to showcase this sort of art? Or do you think that they should be returned to the places that they came from?